Hey guys, I'm Jen. I regularly post my videos over on Technicolor Moments. Pretty much what I post is DIY, how-to, tutorial videos. I also post some other things like book stuff and vlogs, but mostly it's DIY and craft projects. So I wanted to do a craft project for you guys today, but I wanted it to be something that was pretty easy and didn't require a lot of special tools or anything like that. And of course, I also wanted it to be nerdy. So I came up with 8-bit hair bows because bow ties are cool. I made mine into a, a girly hair thing, but you could totally make this a necktie or a keychain or pretty much anything like that, whatever it is that you are interested in having a bow tie on. For this project, you need a, a bucket of curler beads. I got this one at Target for like four bucks. It came with these shaped pegboards. But I got these plain square ones on Amazon for like $1.99 for two of them. You also need an iron and probably a hot glue gun depending on how and what you're attaching your finished product to. I looked at a reference picture, but if you are more artistically inclined than I am, you can just do it right from memory. But I just started to lay out my beads on to the plain pegboard following my reference picture. I started with the outline and then did my highlight and then I filled in the main color and about halfway through this procedure I realized it would be way easier if I used a pair of tweezers and not my fingers. Also as you're doing this you want to be really careful not to bump or knock over your pegboard because then you have to start over and that would suck and not be fun. So just very carefully go and lay out all of your beads in whatever color you should choose and when you are finished, it is time to fuse them together. So your bucket of beads or kit or whatever you buy will probably come with a sheet of paper, like a parchment paper. So go ahead and lay that over your beads and with a hot iron, you did have an iron heating while you were doing that, right? Okay, good, good job. So with your iron, go on and press down pretty firmly and go in a circular motion for about 15 seconds. Basically, when you can't see the holes of the bead anymore through the paper, that means it's pretty much done. Be really careful because hot beads are hot. Pull the paper off and take it off the pegboard and then flip it over and iron with the paper on the other side too. Once you have that finished bow, you can go ahead and glue it onto your clip or onto a headband or onto pretty much anything else that you want to have your bow on. Like I said, you could also put it on a keychain. Just make sure that you have something that can punch through the plastic or just leave a small corner, not completely fuse all the way, and then put a key ring in and iron it better. So here's what it looks like in my hair. I think it turned out pretty cute. I will probably be wearing this often because I'm a little bit obsessed with it. If you like crafty videos like this and want to see more, like I said, you can find me over at Technicolor Moments. All of my links and everything are down in the box below, and I will hopefully see you guys there. DFTBA. Stay crafty, nerds.